It is going to be warm and sunny out there. I can't believe that it's February. It seems like that should be what we're seeing in April, <laughs> but it's awesome. So make sure that you get out there and have some fun and make sure you have your sunscreen and you definitely want to stay hydrated at the, out there as well. So Coach Jesse, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I am great. You got all your gear on today. Yeah. It's like, I feel like well, you should walking have... Walking billboard today. <laughs> walking billboard today. It looks great. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about the Breckenridge Bucks? Sure. We're a junior hockey team that plays out of Stephen C. West Ice Arena right down the road here. Our guys are between the ages of 15 to 20, and their next uh, goal for them is to try to get to college hockey. Yeah. And you guys are kind of winding down, aren't you? Yeah. We've uh, we got four games left in the regular season, and then uh, we start our playoffs. So we're excited for that. And playoffs is a whole new season. Everybody has a... You know, uh, start, basically starting over uh, on the record, and uh, we're going to see if we can win the championship. Yeah, so do you guys have anything exciting coming up within the next week? <laughs> we have two games at home this okay. weekend. Um, so our last two home games for the re regular season, then we go on the road next uh, the following weekend, and then we're back for playoffs the first week, or last weekend of February. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. So how's the season been so far? It's been good. We're in third place. Uh, Guys have been great. You know, they've been uh, improving every day in practice. Uh, each weekend in games, we've been getting better. And uh, it's just fun to watch them grow. And not just hockey players, too, but as, as individuals. And uh, doing a lot of stuff in the community and doing a lot of stuff with the youth hockey program and stuff. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we did a couple parades this year. We did the Mardi Gras parade yesterday. So the guys are just having a blast with that. And, and uh, just, a, just a lot of fun this whole, this whole season. So you mentioned the Mardi Gras parade, and then you also mentioned that you guys are active in other ways in the community. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I think that's really great, and I would like people to know yeah. that what you guys are doing. Yeah, and, you know, a lot of it, um, our guys have never done some of this stuff before, so for them to give back to the community, uh, it's just uh, sensational to watch those guys grow that way. We work with the youth hockey program, like I said, go out and uh, our guys become coaches for the, for the little guys. Uh, we go to the schools and do some reading programs. Uh, we've gone to uh, some different events that uh, just been going on with the community just to support the cause for what we have going on and for what the community has going on because that's our fan base. Those are our sponsors. Those are our people that support us. Yeah. So we said that you're winding down. Playoffs are right around the corner. What what kind of advice are you giving these guys to keep them excited and get them ready? <laughs> well, the big thing is just try to stay healthy, you know, yeah. and it's hard. And uh, you know, we've got a few guys sick. We've got a few guys banged up. And I just tell them, you know, get your rest. Make sure that you're getting fluids in you, getting your treatment and that kind of stuff. Because uh, it's a long year and the guys are pretty banged up right now. So just tell them, you know, stay focused, stay mentally focused. Let's get through this next uh, four regular season games. And then when playoffs come, it's all out. we got to give what we have and, and just go out there and do, it, do the best job that we can. Yeah. And how are they feeling about the end of the season and getting ready? Yeah, they're excited. They're excited for sure. They're, they're, uh, they're eager for playoffs, you know, because that's the time to shine. And, uh, you know, if we get a chance to, to make some noise and uh, get through the first round of playoffs and get to the finals, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So I know I've been to the games before as a spectator. Super, super fun you definitely need to go they're fun for the entire family how are the games from your side <laughs> well from my side a little frustrating the last few but uh you know as a coach you're always trying to figure out the the, the next thing to do and the right thing to do but uh yeah the atmosphere is great for fans and uh, and our guys appreciate it too you know when when, uh, when they come off the ice and all the guys, you know, the little hockey guys are giving them high fives and stuff. It's a lot of fun. So it's a great atmosphere. Come on down and check us out for sure. Yeah. So if somebody wants to find out more information about your last couple of games or the playoff games, how yeah. can they find out more? BreckenridgeBucks.com, best spot to go. You can buy tickets on there, our schedule's on there, all our rosters are on there. So that's the best spot to be, BreckenridgeBucks.com. Cool. Well, Coach Jesse, thank you so much for joining thank us you. this morning and wearing all of your awesome gear. Really, I'm gonna have to get myself some more gear. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get you some. I'll have to get me. I'll have to get some more. So yeah, definitely check out the games. They are really, really fun. That pretty much wraps things up for us here in Breckenridge. Make sure you get out there. Hit the slopes because it is so nice outside. I can't even. I can't even tell you. You just have to get out there and experience it for yourself. So yeah, like I said, that wraps things up for us here. Thank you so much for watching today. We're gonna take a short break, but don't go anywhere because you'll go back to Ashley in the studio right after that.